Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire, Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this story comes from Dublin in Ireland. I know the Irish press are not very nice to anyone really, but this headline is very insulting to Conor McGregor. They say that this drug dealer was a lookalike of Conor McGregor, the famous MMA fighter from Ireland. This guy is actually two years older. Mark Nye, 34 years old, was pulled over by the police and found with hundreds of business cards with the fighter's surname on and saying that he owned an enterprise and advertising drugs. Drugs. And what really got me about the business cards was the fact he even had the scales of justice on them as well. What you'd see with like courtrooms, which goes to show this guy had a major sense of humour. Mark Nye was detained and arrested by police for possession of Class A drugs and he had two mobile phones on him at the time. The officers said that he told him his name was Connor and he had several hundred business cards with the name McGregor Enterprises written on the front and back and he also said best drops in Surrey. Mark used the cards they said to front his drug dealing business. And his mugshot with a distinctive ginger beard, like the one worn by the legendary UFC fighter. And he also has his hair styled like him. What? What'd you say? They say that police analysed his mobile phones and found hundreds of messages relating to drug dealing inside them. And Nye was sentenced at Guildford Crown Court on the 9th of April after being stopped by Surrey police in February in Stanwell. The force said officers found a large amount of boric acid, which is a cutting agent used sometimes to cut drugs. And they say there's serious health implications for users of them. In 2019, Conor McGregor pleaded guilty to assaulting an elderly man in a Dublin pub when he was promoting his drink, the Proper 12 brand of whiskey. And he was fined £860 for that incident. In 2018 as well, Conor McGregor grabbed a metal trolley and threw it, shattering the window of the bus of UFC fighter Khabib in New York City before Khabib would later go on to beat him in the octagon. He was sentenced to five days of community service and to attend anger management for that offence. And it has been getting very popular to impersonate celebrities and also use that to commit crimes. Several cases where people were trying to impersonate Elon Musk and also Richard Branson. And Sky News covered about the fact that there was 300 websites that were trying to advertise falsely using celebrities as the endorsement. This cost the UK approximately £198 million a year in fake investments using forged news stories about investment advice by celebrities. They say 300,000 malicious earls used as investment schemes promoted by fake celebrities like Richard Branson and Martin Lewis and they've been taken down in the past year but they seem to be getting very popular. The City of London Police is who is responsible for fraud and also cyber activity fraud. And the Commander Clinton Blackburn said, These figures are a massive reminder that people need to be very careful with their identities online and people can use them and steal celebrities' names and promote the schemes and people stand at risk of losing a lot of money if they do get involved. So I thought that was a really interesting story coming from Ireland and we'll definitely have some more Irish news coming up this week. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.